All right, welcome back to the very last hour of uh, News Hour tonight. And we take a break from very serious issues like planting trees, uh, which, by the way, the government spokesperson said is about 150 million. Now, if you break it down, 150 million trees on Monday, 150 million trees on Monday, we are about 50 million, 53 million. That simply means every one of you in this country planted at least three trees. I wonder if that's true. We'll be telling you about it after I release Eric Komode and also on National Dialogue and all other issues to talk about another serious issue. Eric Komode says this is serious business. Thank you for coming. Asante sana. When I just someone said that, that Eric Omondi is going to studio to meet Ken Mijungu, leo ni kijaluo. Leo ni ujaka. Leo ni kijaluo. But we are just speaking kijaluo here today. No, but why not? Why not? We can. Why it is the same language. We... <laughs> Eric, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so the much. The initiative is Sisi Kwa Sisi. Sisi Kwa Sisi. I call it Charity Without Borders. Charity Be Without Borders. Because yes. I haven't seen a single person you have no touch with this. Every, uh, the former eight provinces. You've touched all of them? All of them. And you go there personally, interestingly? Personally, I go there individually. Me, me personally, I have to be there. I, people send me cases. Mm -hmm. I have to go there to, to see the cases, to authenticate the cases. Before you broadcast it? Yes, before I broadcast it. 4.3 million. Yes. I'm jealous of you tonight because I don't know how many people are watching me. <laughs> 4.3 is Instagram. That's Instagram. There's 3 million on Facebook. And uh, 500,000 on uh, YouTube. So all, all of these people watch at the, go. They watch and they contribute. So far, mm -hmm. it's been like two months. I'd like to know how you came up with this, but it's been like two months of me following up. Yes. And I, I think I began watching when there was this baby you were raising. Yes. Um, funds for to go get treatment. Yes. Then the baby later died, right? Died, yeah. So yeah. in the last Biden two months is. alone, I think you've raised close to 10 million shillings. Over this. 10 million. Because every four hours, mm -hmm. every night we go on a live, which is twice or once a week, yeah. we raise at least 2.8 million. Yeah. Within four and a half hours. In fact, I was telling my team, one day we just need to go and pack a subui. We see what happens. How many Kenyans? The ones who are sleeping and waking up, they continue with it. Because the, the Kenyans in America, mm -hmm. if you 10, 30, 11 a.m., yeah. they that's come when, when, that's when they log in. They, that's when they log in. They want to pick a home, sir. So how did you... Because you do a lot of things. You do yes. a lot of skits. Yes. I a lot of comedy so, and so, everything. Sorry to say I'm your fan. Yeah. <laughs> I yes. do but I, I watch a lot of what you do. Yes. So there's so many funny skits. There's this one for rain and yes. <laughs> thunderstorm. Yes. You know, there's the Arsenal going to pray in the mountain. Yes. But then you say, apart from comedy and all these things you do entertain, this is serious business for you. Yes. How did it start? It started this way. I noticed that I have I'm the most followed in Kenya, mm -hmm. and I noticed that my followers are very active. And then there was a time when uh, the high cost of living started becoming an issue. I tried uh, a way uh, to fight for Kenyans. Yeah. I went well, to the streets. When you arrested? Yes. <laughs> I was arrested seven times. Yeah. And then I noticed, every time I got arrested, and I went to court, and I came out, I had not helped anyone. Right? By going to the streets, to the streets. I didn't have. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it was helping Kidogo to, 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 to raise the issues, to be a voice, you know. But then, at the end of the day, uh, what was the me? So then I discovered, wait, what if I changed one life at a time? Okay. What if I gathered my followers and asked them to send one bob each? 4.3 million. That would be 4.3 million. Single night. Single night. Yeah. And then we pick one Kenyan who and is in dire need. So Sisi Kwa Sisi basically is like uh, each ama, you know, our mothers used to be merry go round, oh, yeah. where you, you where many people come together. You pull in and you pull in and then you put money together yeah. and then you help give it one to one person. person, then the next time to the other person. To the other person, yes. Yeah. And they used to do a lot with the build houses, take us to school, yes. plow their uh, chambers at home. Yes, they, they, they would pay school fees, yeah. they would take us abroad, you know, with their chambers. So mm. Sisi Kwa Sisi is some sort of uh, of uh, uh, us. For us okay yes yeah. so 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 there's so much power in unity mm -hmm. there's so much power in numbers and there's so there's so much power when when four million people mm -hmm. come together to contribute for one child who needs to go to india yeah and it's working perfectly it's well. working eric i need to ask this from the outside yes what do you benefit from this what is in it for my you biggest, there must be there my, must be my something. biggest benefit is every moment i go to my Instagram or Facebook and I click on the comments mm -hmm. and 98 if not 99 percent of Kenyans are saying God bless you right you never lasted you put our poster up yes. 
all the comments about congratulations god bless you god bless continue you. doing this god uh -huh. bless you will never may you never lack may you never Eriko. so you're ripping blessings blessings you know what people speak is very powerful uh -huh. So like that old granny, for example, the five, ah. the one who had his son in the mug for five years, I saw, I was emotional about that. Bro, a whole village burst out in, in celebration. The, I, it was like a celebration. From the, from the moment I was in the village, I was in the village, I was Tell me one story among the ones you've done. I think they've all touched you. But tell me one story, Eric, that is remarkable, that has touched you. The story that has touched me the most is uh, is uh, Dailan, the, child? Dailan, the okay. one in yeah. India now. Yeah. 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 The yeah. one in yeah. India now. Yes. The father sent me a message and said, look, Dailan is walking. I'll show you. I wish I sent you that. Mm -hmm. Look, Dailan is walking. Then the, the boy is with, a, I think it's an Indian female doctor mm -hmm. trying to help him walk. He just sent me, look, Dailan is walking. The boy is walking. Yes. Mm -hmm. Just that. His eyes were were popping, going, popping yeah, out. I saw them. Mm -hmm. He couldn't walk. He was in utter extreme pain. Yeah, he was writhing in pain. In fact, when, it, when, when, when they got to the plane, the doctors at KNH were worried. They were like, I, dawa, because, you know, the pressure, uh, and the, India is like seven hours, the pressure, uko mm -hmm. juni So the, 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 the father told me, well, I hope my son will make it to India. The guy, the boy is walking, and I told him on WhatsApp, not only walking, he will get back to Kenya, we will take him to school at a rooted class. That's your other commitment? Yes. Okay. Why that was you, the story that got me the most. Why do you put yourself in these people's position? Why must you always tell us their raw story before? Is that to gain the sympathy, gain the numbers, no. pay fundraising? Because you take it personally. It's, Thank you so much. These stories are so personal to me. In fact, Ken, I, I think I was being told by my manager. Uh, he's called Kiari. Another one's called Lawrence. You know, they spend a lot of time with me, and they see me go through these stories. Mm -hmm. They're telling Bru, you need, you need therapy. You're going to need therapy very soon. I'm aware when you to lose to depression. Because, you know, I have to go into these houses, into these hospitals, and look at these cases, and you know, involve myself, listen to them. Nishike umtoi, ni understand pain yake. Don't nishike me don't nishike me. This kid is going through this and this. Or this woman, like like the mother who had not buried for five years. For five years. Yes. While we are doing the live, mm -hmm. she just with the portrait and the candle. She just. You know what happened is, she thought it was just. I look on a YouTube. Me under TV. She's an old woman, like like this setting. Mm -hmm. So when we got there, I don't know whether it was a mistake or not, we put candles. And then the guy who had the, the portrait, Ali Chelewa. So I kafika ka to my answer. Then I kikuja kafungua to the mother saw it. Do you know she broke down? I saw it. I couldn't talk. Mm -hmm. We were quiet for, for like one hour. People were sending money. That's Broke. the picture of the baby in India, right? That's, that's, the, that's the baby in India. In that's, India, yes. That's, you see there, he, he can't walk. That's, yeah. uh, that's Dylan. Dylan, uh, yeah. Just wait and if you see the eyes, they are gone Pop. out. Yeah. The, 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 the things I couldn't post, yeah? Mm -hmm. Because uh, I, don't, I don't think it would be even uh, ethical, yeah? But right now, mm -hmm. I wish I sent that. Of the new video of him yeah, in Yeah, walking. Okay. Walking. I know you'll share it on your page. We'll I'll, say I'll, it. I'll, I'll share it after this, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this is the case that got me most because... Remember the previous kid? Look at look at that, look at those eyes. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in, is that Kenya or India? This is Kenya. Oh, that's still now, Kenya. Now, 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 now is okay. Mm -hmm. Upper Ata Tembe, mm -hmm. Upper Tembe. I love that there are worse videos. This is this is this is the first time they sent me the video. Okay. Two weeks before I went to help him. Mm -hmm. The such I can get worse. You see, they are already to Tembe. Yeah, he can't walk. Okay, so so when you get to like 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 the old lady that you were telling me, I mean, five years. Tell me the story. Why was it impossible to bury ah. this son for five years? Was it the medical bill that was outstanding before he died? Was it the mob charges? What was the story? Ken Bijungu, something is broken in our society. I don't know whether it is us as a people or it is our leadership. Because I was, when, when you know, I receive a lot of messages, yeah? Currently. So many times, so I have to go through all of them. Mm -hmm. So I get to this woman, I think it's one of my managers, Kiari or, or Lawrence, who saw it, yeah? I can remember, bro, kunai kesi, ya mtu, ajazikwa, ajazikwa, I'm like, kizo ni mingi, a week before that, tukatumezika mtoto, 
alikuwa kwa mtu yeah, yeah, four months yeah. so I was like hizo ziko mob it was like bro ni five years I'm like hi how five years asia kona mp mhm hata kona mca hata kona women rep hi five years five. someone What must have had election cycle bro uru kinyata was the president this guy <laughs> this guy died august 9th 2019 before mm -hmm. corona i'm like you are pan asia kona pasta mali so that's why i usually go and authenticate these stories mm -hmm. so i was i called the the brother i'm like bro he, I, like one guy I was to say, bro chill What's when did on? he die mm -hmm. he told me bro i will not tell you check your whatsapp i can it to me a death death certificate i can to me a dini the guy died august 9th 2019 ask him five years are we not human anymore for every level from the level of the hospital when you are forgive mm -hmm. there's a media house that did the story i don't know whether it's you guys apparently there's a media house that went to do the story who see what please don't release the story we we'll release the body and then they didn't they, they released while they were fry juzi tu a month ago okay so they don't pay our permit okay we need music while wana kimbia mog kuchukua body wakifika pale wanasahau mwili imekuwa mog for how long five years there's another bill the the mother was the mother was like ah this woman told me and I even captioned it she, to, it she told me when we buried she came to me crying because I'm my son god bless you tonight after five years I can find I can sleep every moment mushtuka she stopped coming to Nairobi and she wanted the entire extended family okay kuja kwake usinipige story eric is called eric like me do mm -hmm. she relieves it all over again akikuja nairobi akipita hapo highway wayakiwe akiangalia mchari she relieves it it affects her for another two weeks can you imagine sleeping and knowing that your son uja uja mzika alikuwa na accident akakufa uja mzika as a mother so she came and told me tonight god bless you can find you alipata closure alisema she's not been living amekotoa ke exist that woman has gone through trauma through depression and out and back in and out where are the pakasa zingine unazoea can the president mm -hmm. he has the power he has executive power can he declare tomorrow that everybody that is in government mochari be released to their be people, released to their people. Mm -hmm. if the body has been there for more than two months or three months mm -hmm. because this woman she's an old woman you saw her the only other son when you're back is about about the operator and ketengela mtu mwenyewe msisi tuna discuss story of any brother katotolewa and anambia let me call you back ana fight na landlord huyu atatoa atatoa 4.2 million and the community bro it was 4.8 million plus 784 4.4.8 million was it 3. Point something million 3.5 million plus 784 about 4.3 million 4.3 million to a guy mwenye ajalipa rent ya 6k doesn't matter he doesn't care about it he doesn't currently akona watu wii ajalimaliza school fees nyumba yake inafungwa unadana atazika umtu how much money did you raise that day we raised the, we raised the, on the night we raised 1.1.4 on the night but what usually happens in the morning i i, I post and tell people keep sending So I'm sure at and Kenyans are amazing. Like now they, they, there's a case I was handling last night. Yeah, the the homeless the homeless family. Guy, the guy yes. who lives under a tree. Under a tree with his house tree. was demolished mm -hmm. illegally. Si juu hiyo hiyo si ya research. Ako under a tree ame ame kama gunia. So hiyo hiyo mti imekuja hivi. Akawa na watoto wananyeshewa, akae kama gunia majuala, akaeka kitanda. But when when it rains And those kids look the youngest look like six, seven. It's six. Yeah. It's the six. youngest. But what on amtumi a pesa? He called me what about one I saw when you went because you promised to resettle him. Yes. And you did. To limpeleka kwa nyumba. I almost made a mistake. Ujaluo ni mkitu mbaya. Ulifanya you took it. Ujaluo ni mkitu mbaya. So so I looked at the money was like eh eh walikuweka chini ya miti. Tunachukulia five bedroom kila lesh. I was like ah no. I was like nigga choma. Then I saw the kids. I'm like this guy has lived in Kibera all his life. Yeah. And then I take him to a four bedroom. I use that money. Why don't I just let him stay in Kibera? I pay one year. Yes. We pay today one year uh, rent, one year electricity to the lipa so uh and, and then give him some money i took him to the bank i posted that nikafunga do 
nikaambia mwenye bank mimi naitwa Eric wewe ni manager huwa naitwa Njoroge mm -hmm. Duncan nishampea pesa hii asitoe hii asiguze hii ni emergency na watoto akikuja hapa kutoa nipigie Oh mama kasema Eric that's the best thing I will not even allow him to he has to withdraw with only emergency yeah and he still continues with what a vending business nimepea pesa mm -hmm. I gave him over 150000 The guy already was had, had gone into depression. The wife told me, "Jana, alisema wewe sikuzi ni kukunywa tu. Tutaanza kujua." Talk to me about the vetting process because one of the things that mainstream media houses such as Standard Group mm -hmm. uh, go through is there's so many cases. If today we were supposed to pick such a story, mm -hmm. there are several like you said. Yes. Um, if you pick a story uh, for example Baby Dylan, Baby Dylan yes. You picked that story. Yes. Trust me there are other Baby Dylan. So it never ends and vetting it really hard which is a genuine case which is not how do you mm. vet this because i'm sure your inbox is full how do you vet them and, and that's why you asked you said and Eric, you go, you do it personally you go there personally mm -hmm. that's the main reason i travel there, there was the case of the, kid, the baby that was burnt there was another person who was trying to call me i get from Meru a month ago i let me picture our toy akasema ni mtumie do Then when I, st they said I'm coming to me, mm -hmm. so I have to go there first, first of all to authenticate. Nione mtoto, nione Dylan, nione babake, nione daktari, nione records. Then number two, first of the first thing is to authenticate. The second thing is agency. Is it an emergency? Mm -hmm. mm. You remember baby Dylan? Yeah. Because I deleted it. I also blame myself to some extent. Yeah, I was waiting for some time. Yeah. I was sending so many messages. Mm -hmm. I was like, I won't end up the next week. But then I'm getting to to, to the deadline. Too late. It was too late. Mm -hmm. So uh, is it urgent? You can out of our inbox. Hapa mungina li niambia iriko maze. Mimi ndafungwa ro. Kitu ili hape. Mimi mwana ume kawewe. Mimi liko na side chick. Nilienda nae maali yaka nibia. Na wife size ya mani jam. So unichangi. Okay. Side chick, rent. Mm -hmm. that, that's not an emergency. Hold that thought. We're coming back to speak to Eric. We still have a lot, and more importantly, from where he sits, does he feel we have broken systems? And uh, how do we fix this broken system? And uh, supplementary for Eric, what is he eyeing? Very important question. Take a break. We're back in a moment. <laughs> KTN News. Get the whole story. Africa Speaks, a groundbreaking show that brings you the beauty, diversity and untold stories of Africa like never before. From the sprawling savannas to the bustling cities, from ancient traditions to modern innovations, Africa Speaks captures the essence of this magnificent continent done by Africans from an African perspective. Journey with us to the continent's tourist attraction and historical sites through Destination Africa. Learn from our ancestors' wise words on proverb of the day. Africa Speaks, where the voice of Africa echoes around the world. miaka mingi tumekuwa tegemeo kwa nchi nzima kwa habari za kuaminika matukio katika nyanja zote za maisha siasa nyinyi ndio mlifika kura sisi tutataka amani usalama ndakuwa tayari kutoka saa sita ya usiku akamani miche zote a world record ndona imekuwa ni punishment kwa wakati ufao na ndio maana tunajiboresha hata zaidi kwamba sasa KTN leo itakuwa ikikujia kwa matao ya juu sisi ndisi
The Club Kiboko Festival is getting better with each edition bringing you more fun and entertainment. This December 2nd, 2023, all roads will lead to the Ulinzi Sports Complex Langata for a fun day full of games, entertainment, competitions and lots and lots of giveaways. This holiday season, join us as we make new memories with friends and family and who knows, you might even be a winner of the many prizes including scholarships, holidays, gift hampers and much more. What are you waiting for? Book your ticket now on Ticketsasa.com for just 500 bob for kids and 300 for adults. For more information, contact Joan on 0708-211-157 or email jnyambura at standardmedia.co.ke. The Club Kiboko Festival. Miss it. Miss out. KTN News. Get the whole story. And uh, welcome back. We continue with our conversation tonight with Eric Omondi. He's an entertainer. Now he's uh, a philanthropist and uh, he's trying to help Kenyans one at a time. In what my producer tonight, Watson Karuma, calls Kenyans for Kenyans. Sort of you are on your own. If you don't do it your own way, <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. And it's hard economic time. Does it bother you yes. that the way we genuinely, of course, Kenyans are complaining yes. of the high cost of living. They still get this money to send you. I have sent money a couple of times. I've yes. seen you reading my name there. I've yes. sent money a couple of times. Yes. Because you feel the pain. You feel the pinch. Yes. If your 10 shillings can make a difference, yes. why not? So, uh, does it even, do you even stop to think about, hey, how are you going to pay for it? You know, our, 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 our policy at Sisi Kwa Sisi Arambiz of fundraisers is Tuma One Bob. That one Bob makes a difference. Because we understand that Kenyans don't have money in their pockets. Or most of them don't. Mm -hmm. So if someone sends a shilling or two Bob or five Bob, it goes a long way. Because every time we go live, it's always trickling like water. So he's on my one bob, one bob, one bob, one bob, zico mob, ten bob, five bob, fifty bob, then once in a while, hey! A thousand bob. A thousand, <laughs> after ten. Mm -hmm. Even oh, you fifth. get people sending Aye. ten thousand. People from America even sent, the day we were, we were fundraising for the Made. Mm -hmm. No, for the, the Made, the Made, the Made, the Hoka. No, the Hoka, the one who was harassed by Kanjo. Yes. Yeah. Uh, somebody called Sadatha sad, sad, Manani. And I took 100 k, I found 50 k. So people, people send one bob, people send five bob, people send 50, others send 10,000. But the idea is a uh, merry-go-round. We are many. So to kitoa kidogo kidogo, it ajaza kibaba. Then we look for those people amongst us. It is now us for us. Ni sisi tu kwa sisi. Sasa we are, if we are 55 million people, and one of us needs to go to India, and we all give one bob. That's 55 million. Then we can say, wacha, wacha uh, 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 India, uh, 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 2 million peke yake. Mm -hmm. uh, 55 million. Uyo oh, ende, uyo mm -hmm. uh, zalipwe, ule kuchini ya mti asaidiwe, ule hoka asaidiwe, ule mama wakuzika azike. Mm -hmm. So far we've raised more than 15 m. In, two, in, in less than two months. What is the accountability in what you're doing, Eric? The How do I know that my money, like if we raise 700, um, this 700 is used for this novel? What is the accountability? The accountability is very simple. If it is Ken Mijungu, we get three phone, phone numbers. Okay. You must send to Ken Mijungu. If it is, we say, if it is uh, like the guy we're raising for Jana, it is, the name is Duncan Joroge. Mm -hmm. So, when I say that, I say that 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 I It goes to, to, to the, the person in need. Baba Dylan and I say so and so. I say that 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 I say It's sent to, the, to the person. Mm -hmm. That is the first. That's the best way to accountability. Okay. Mm. So and, and you occasionally don't get people asking you, hey, you may backing up you, but I'll attack five hundred. Like like the lady Hoka. Mm. I mean, you, you set a goal, but you surpass that goal. All the cases we've surpassed. Kenyans have been doing amazing with this Sisi Kosisi. Okay. It's a it's it's a it's a very big movement. 
Sisi kwa sisi sounds like a political party. <laughs> I will talk about it. Yes. But do you think Eric uh, because uh, uh, my friend Mike Sonko mm. has been doing the same thing. Yes. He had even Sonko rescued him. Yes. But it's his own money. Yes. You have come up with a totally different concept yes. but still doing what he does. Yes. <clears throat> but at some point as a human being yes. you may think I'll get exhausted. How how many sleepless nights do I have to spend for these people? I'm not government. I'm not president. I'm not MP. And remember, I have a daughter who's only two months old, Ex three months old. By the way, congratulations. <laughs> so at, at what point do you think someday you'll just say, oh, God, I'm done. Ah, I'm no. Tired. no, 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 no. Volume uh, We are going to help more Kenyans. It's going to become more rampant. Like now in a week, we're helping like three, four people. It's going to get to a point where we're helping people Monday to Monday. But Kenyans could get exhausted. No! Are you asking them for money? No, 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 no. Let me tell you. You see, like what Sonko? You see, Eric Omoli had a person. To say me I don't have the Sonko money. Mm -hmm. And uh, all my money I get from uh, those things we're saying, Nikifanya ka advert ya niko kwamvua, na lipwa kidogo. So I don't have the muscles to help even one or two Kenyans. If I did, if, if I had you one run, person... You run without... Ah! You can't even pay your own bills. Ni kisaidia watu wa wili na pesangu. The third one ni mimi nda kwa nasaidia. I promise you. you. But there is a beauty mm -hmm. in people coming together and contributing towards helping one in the community mm -hmm. who is in dire need. Because then it becomes a people issue. Okay. Sisi, because this is not an erikomundi... Uh, initiative. It is a people-driven initiative. It is only it's just that Rikumundi uses his platform, uh, uh, lends his platform to Kenyans. But this thing has been taken over by Kenyans. By Kenyans. Now they are very aggressive. comments. It is their own thing. When I say Eric, I say I'm to one point three million and uh, I took to five hundred thousand to have surpassed to Smami. No, to Smami to mm -hmm. school fees, Babaka from Gobeshara. They've taken over. You see, now it, it's, it's one thing if I was a billionaire and I said, Nani and Attack was a Nani, Nani, we will end India. The Lake of India, no, we will attack a rent. Chukwai. That's an Eric Monday thing. But this is Kenyans from Kitale, America. Uh, Bungoma, Kilifi, Wanatuma from all over. So, so it becomes a, a movement of sorts, which is Sisi kwa Sisi. Kenyans for Kenyans, us for us. Mm -hmm. So, here you get to Eric Mimi, 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 Exactly. Sometimes. <laughs> what you can. Like what I do, <laughs> uh -huh. I think I think I contribute. Like uh, most of these cases outside. Like we did another one. Akiwa Kenya. Iwe kitu mfanya tatu. Kuna mungine wa kitale. Alikuwa is a graduate with a first class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw this. So I have to play, pay for a flight, drive to kitale. See you mafuta ni meka ni. Na yon dege ni melipa. Ni me contribute. Na bae daya mepata job. Ah, asha pata kazi. Yes, yes. And Kenyans will not tire. They keep telling me, Eric, you see, you see, you choke. Mm -hmm. Because you know what Kenyans are doing is that Mimi Penya Nimeka, you are only sending what you can afford. Yeah. To my one book. The lunch I didn't eat today. Yes. That's what I'm sending you. Yeah, okay, one hundred. Now, you buy in my eye. To my one book. To my ten. You see, you finish. You took away. Okay. Mm. So, this initiative, mm. it's noble. It's noble. Um, yes. But. What, what, what are you selling? What, what would I want to get involved? Uh, you'd want to get involved. First of all, God forbid, we don't know tomorrow. Uh, sometimes I see people, we see people commenting and saying, uh, you know that those two ninis, we call them nyawawa, mm -hmm. those two negative comments, yeah? Uh, I see people coming and like now the guy we were burying, when I say, that's a dead body, bana. wachana na uko. Mimi ni getu, niamle ni tume pesa. You go say the guy had two kids. The, the guy, the five-year guy, mm -hmm. I, I, I had written somewhere on my on the on the caption that he actually has two kids. Mm -hmm. Then I was like, ah, that's a dead body. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 the, a mm -hmm. dead body. Bro, that, that, there's a mother who needs to bury the son to get closure. When I get, so first of all, uh, you need to get involved because. Kesho inazokuwa ni wewe. Leo ni huyu, 
kesho ni wewe atujui life mm -hmm. so just help because Mungu pia anakuona na wewe pia yako itafika na tutakuchangia uh, that's number one. number two, it is our it is the only way. i had one of your, our guys here alisema uh, kuna word alisema alisema kusema ask for us this is a very, a very deep word Kenyans for Kenyans uh, ama we are on our own we are on our own yes uh, 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 the guy who been there alikuwa alikuwa hapa akasema we are on our own we are literally on our own Ken. okay oh, okay mm -hmm. okay um i think finally talk to me about second final second last mm -hmm. talk to me about what you think of the government systems mm -hmm. yeah medical um they have initiatives like the universal healthcare and then their schools you're raising school fee and then the cdf all those things that are put together to make life of kenyans easy but they're not happening what do you think from where you, you and i are 40 year olds I, we understand I, this i i think from where i'm seated i may have the moral authority to, authority to answer that question mm -hmm. from from uh, previous recent experience I've gone to Meru, I've gone to Kisumu, I've gone to Mombasa. Nimetoa watu kwa jela, nimepeleka watu India, nimesaidia kutoka na rent, nimelipia mtu school fees. So I'm, I'm in a better place to answer your question. The Kenyan government, led by the president, His Excellency William Ruto, have their priorities extremely in the wrong place. They have their priorities wrong, they're putting their money in the wrong places, their energy in the wrong places. Everybody who is sending me a message, a medical message, is asking me to take them to India. Because our hospitals have no basic medicine. No one is saying take me to Canada. No take one. To... All of them. Mm -hmm. Take me to India. What, what, what is it that India is doing that we can't do? You're getting? Good question. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have the money. Why can't we bring those doctors here or facilities here yeah. what to train up why is everyone going to india you understand mm -hmm. so we have our priorities uh, uh all mixed up yeah we are, we are starting with things that do not matter as if it is not save life though that is what i can tell you from mm -hmm. what i've experienced watoto wanaenda shule hakuna employment hakuhelba ijatolewa hakuna dawa it is life first Health is very important. Mm -hmm. get. Mm -hmm. uh, and and that, that, that's what I can say. The government has its priorities. priorities. So you're stepping in to try because you... I'm trying. You're not even 0.00% of the government. Akuna percent. Akuna percent. We are 55 million Kenyans. Na mini mesaidia watu 21. Okay. So Karen tells me that we have to leave. But yes. I have to ask you this. Yes. Is, everything that you're doing... Yes. Are you thinking of running for politics? Don't lie to me because I will know. <laughs> <laughs> I had you running. Yeah, you had well. <laughs> Look at this guy. The, the only somewhere. place I'm running is home after this. You're running home after, after this. this. Yes. I'm also running home after this. This is the message I can tell people. Yes. We need to change the way we elect our leaders in 2027. We have seen it. Kimeturamba. Let us learn from these moments from what's going on right now, from the economic depression that we're experiencing, from the economic recession that Kenya has never nini, wewe umeona nyewe nyewe, hii hata siwezi kukupreach. I'm calling upon young people to rise up, including you Mjungu, so that we have a new Kenya, because the systems will never change if we have the, the usual people. This generation of leadership, wakina jomo kinyata, walituletea freedom, there was the second liberation, there was the third liberation. We need a fourth liberation to have a new Kenya. If we elect the same leaders in 2027, after to ju, mafuta ju, rent ju, help ju, kila kitu ju. Same place. I'll really be shocked. Let us think. Let us breathe in, breathe out. Kitu rambe tutukifika kwa balot, be sober. Let us elect people who will help us. And most so, let us elect a new generation of leaders. That's Eric what I can Omoni, say. Thank you so much. And continue doing what you do. Continue doing it. We'll yes. support you where we can. Uh, na kidogo, we'll keep sending. Thank you, guys. And the people who get involved, let them get involved. By the way, thank you, Kenyans. I would, I would really be off if I didn't do that. Thank you for everyone who's ever sent anything. Yeah. From one bob to 150. Sadat al -tuma. The most we've ever received is 250 from a lady called Sadat. But if you ever sent anything, God bless you. And we'll keep doing this. Thank you, Eric Komondi, for sharing your story. And uh, it's always on IG Live.
right? I, I, I watch. Uh, uh, you're done with this initiative? We, we find another one because I'd like to join a live from the beginning to the no, end. No, this is because this is here to stay. It's there to stay. Ah, yeah, in the Mali. Thank you. That's Thank you for coming tonight. All right, as I let Eric go, Transport Cabinet Secretary Kiptumba Murkomen has formed an expert committee to assess the state of Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Now, Wilson and of course,